Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. In today's video, we're going to be starting my Wheel of Time TV show casting series, where we're going to take a look at some major casting choices and who the most viable candidates for each role would be, eventually making a prediction of who the best candidate for the role would be. In this first episode, we're going to take a look at the character who has been presented as the main character for the first season of the Wheel of Time show, Moraine Damadred. If you are new to the series, or if you're thinking of doing a reread, it looks like they're going to be starting to film the show later this year. And so we should be getting some casting news very soon. It's a perfect time to pick up the books for the first time or to start all over again. One way that you can do this is with Audible.com. Audible has a huge collection of audiobooks that you can choose from, including all of the Wheel of Time books. Audible has partnered with my channel and are offering all of my viewers a free audiobook. All you have to do is go to www.audibletrial.com forward slash nabless and sign up for the trial. You can cancel the trial if you choose before you even have to pay a dime and you get to keep your book. I do suggest keeping it though as it's only $15 and you get a new audiobook each month. And just by signing up, you're really supporting the channel. But before getting too much further into the video, let's go ahead and throw up a spoiler warning for this video. The video is going to have a spoiler rating of green, meaning that I will not be spoiling anything from the novels beyond some very basic information on Moraine's character, but no plot details. Feel free to watch this video regardless of where you are in the novels at this point. So for each of our candidates for the role of Moraine, we're going to answer four questions. Number one, do they fit the physical description of Moraine from the books? Two, do they have the acting chops to pull it off? Three, are they available to start filming this year? And four, are they a realistic choice for television series? Are they going to be affordable or are they just going to be priced out of it? So let's start by giving a little description of Moraine's appearance and personality so we know how she's intended to be. Moraine is fairly short, being right around five foot two, and has very large dark eyes and dark hair that hangs in ringlets down to her shoulders. She has an almost ageless seeming face, looking young yet having the appearance of an older woman at the same time. In terms of her personality, she is extremely calm and collected. She can be described at times as being almost cold but giving off an aura of command and has a presence about her. She is often described as being very beautiful as well. So with the basic descriptions of Moraine covered, let's dive into our list of the most commonly suggested actresses to play the part. And at the very end, I'll give you my choice for who I think should play Moraine. Our first actress is Christina Ricci. Christina Ricci is a 39-year-old actress from the United States, best known for her roles in the movies The Addams Family, Sleepy Hollow, and The Opposite of Sex, as well as popular television shows Ally McBeal, Grey's Anatomy, and most recently Z, The Beginning of Everything. She has won or been nominated for a couple major awards, including a Golden Globe nomination for her work in The Opposite of Sex, a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for her work in The Lizzie Borden Chronicles, a Primetime Emmy nomination for her role on Grey's Anatomy, and winning a National Board of Review Award for the Best Supporting Actress in The Opposite of Sex. So, is she a good fit for Moraine? Well, let's start with our first criteria. Does she fit the physical description? Christina Ricci is five foot one and has large dark eyes. She's had her hair dyed multiple colors over the years, but her natural color is very dark brown. She is older, but has a younger look than her true age and could kind of pass with that ageless face with the right makeup. She could easily pass for the physical descriptions of Moraine. So what about the acting chops necessary to carry the first season and play a character with the importance level of Moraine Damadred. To read books which you must hide. They were my mother's books. My father believes tales of romance caused the brain fever that killed my mother. She died two years ago come midwinter. The nurse who cared for her during her sickness is now Lady Van Tassel. Well, Christina Ricci can easily pull off the cold and calculated personality. She often plays characters that have exactly that demeanor. The only thing I question here is her presence, as I'm not sure she commands the screen, but she absolutely has the acting ability, as she's an extremely talented actress and has been critically acclaimed since her childhood. As to her availability, she is currently available. Her previous project was Z, the beginning of everything, and it was not renewed for a second season at Amazon. This actually leads into the next question, and that is, would she be affordable or would she do television shows? Well, she's just come off being the lead on a television show with Amazon, of all publishers. She's done quite a bit of television with great success in her past as well. So what's the verdict on Christina Ricci as Moraine? Well, I'd say she's a very plausible choice to play Moraine, and she, as she meets most of the criteria. 
the next actress that has been mentioned alongside Maureen's casting is Sophia Bush. Sophia Bush is a 36-year-old American actress best known for her television roles on One Tree Hill and Chicago Fire. She has won three Teen Choice Awards for her roles in John Tucker Must Die and The Hitcher, as well as some other awards in philanthropy. So does she meet the physical appearance requirements? For the most part, yes. She's 5'4", so she is close in height, and she absolutely has the beauty and large dark eyes necessary to play the role. I'm sorry, Daddy, but my answer is no. Don't be foolish. I I've already put together the paperwork for you. <laughs> I thought that you said the final decision in this was up to me. As for her acting chops, she's certainly a good actress and has a lot of experience on television, but never with anything that would be as important as the role of Moraine. And I'm not sure she can give off a cold and commanding presence that would be required for the role. As for availability, she would not be available either, as she is currently starring in a new CBS drama filming called Surveillance. She would be a good choice for budgetary purposes and for her history of doing television work, but when it comes to the final verdict, Sophia Bush, due to her lack of availability and not seeming to be the right actress for the part, I'd say she's probably a poor choice for the role. The next actress that receives quite a bit of attention in the community for the role of Moraine is Alyssa Milano. Alyssa Milano is a 46-year-old American actress best known for her roles in Who's the Boss, Melrose Place, and Charmed. She won Kids' Choice Awards for her roles in Who's the Boss in her youth. So does she match Moraine's physical appearance? Well, standing 5'2 and having the dark hair and large dark eyes necessary, she would seem an ideal pick physically. However, she is currently 46 years old, and while she's quite beautiful, she would be hard-pressed to pull off the ageless look of appearing in her 20s without some serious makeup work. If they choose to disregard the ageless look for Aes Sedai in the series, then it could work. In regards to acting chops, Alyssa Milano has carried multiple television shows over the years, and I think she certainly has the range to pull off the role. Michael, we've got to calm down and just think this thing through. I am thinking, I'm thinking I give a fortune to Dr. Frankenstein to electrocute a pharmaceutical executive. But they're all over at the water cooler right now telling everybody about our little accident. All it takes is for one pharmaceutical executive executive to talk to another one and before you know it the Mancini glove is an industry joke. The only question I have is the commanding presence again. It's hard for me to quantify what I mean but Moraine is said to command the room always and I'm just not sure Alyssa Milano does that for me. For her availability she's currently unavailable. She's starring in Insatiable on Netflix so she'd have no time to commit to a show of this length. Well she would clearly do television and she's already doing a show on Netflix so she would be affordable but again due to her lack of availability and just not seeming to be Moraine based on her age, she's a no for the role of Moraine. Another popular choice for the role of Moraine is Morena Baccarin. I probably butchered that last name. Morena is a 39-year-old actress from Brazil. She's best known for her role as Vanessa in the Deadpool movies, her role of Jessica Brody on Homeland, and her role as Dr. Leslie Tompkins on the show Gotham. She has been nominated for a Primetime Emmy and Screen Actors Guild Award for her part in Homeland, and nominated for an MTV Movie Award for her role in Deadpool. So does she fit the physical description of Moraine? She absolutely has the stunning looks and the large dark eyes and the dark hair. Hair. She is quite tall for the part though, although I'm not sure this is super important as there are tricks of filming with perspective that can alter this. I absolutely think she could pull it off from a physical standpoint. For her acting chops, she could kill it as Moraine. Hey, I'm sorry. We were there forever. Is everything okay? 19 stitches. Jesus. Good night, guys. Do you need help, hon? No. She's a wonderful actress, and I thought she was actually really, really good in Deadpool. She's carried a dramatic series before, and although this is a new genre for her, being the fantasy genre, I don't doubt her ability to do it at all. For her availability, though, she is currently working on the Fox television show Gotham and is unavailable for filming a series as large as The Wheel of Time that'll mostly be shot out of the United States. She would be affordable and she's done quite a bit of television, but again, due to her lack of availability, she's a most likely not for the role of Moraine. So let's hit on one of the fan favorite casting choices for Moraine for some time now, and that's Rachel Weisz. Rachel Weisz is a 48-year-old British actress best known for her roles in the movies The Constant Gardener, The Favorite, and The Mummy and its sequel. She won the Oscar, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild Award for her role in The Constant Gardener in 2006 for Best Supporting Actress. So does she have the look for Moraine? Well, she absolutely fits the description to a T. She's 5'6", she's in the near range for height, she has dark hair, dark 
dark eyes, and she has a very distinguished, proper look. The only thing I question here now is she's getting close to 50 years old, and although she's quite beautiful and looks much younger than she is, I'm not sure she pulls off the ageless look. Again, it remains to be seen whether the direction that the, the showrunners are going to take in portraying the ageless look for Aes Sedai, so we'll definitely have to see here. For acting chops, this is a flat-out no-brainer. An Oscar-winning actress could clearly carry this role. And her short, witty way of speaking in her movies and her, believe it or not, her British accent, at least for American audiences, can give Moraine that commanding presence that she needs. Dearest Queen, you are mad, giving me a palace. It is a monstrous extravagance, Mrs. Molly, we are at war. We won! Oh, it is not over. We must continue. Oh! Is she currently available? She is. She's not known to have any current projects right now, so she would potentially be free to pursue this role. When it comes to affordability, I'm not sure the question here is whether she would be affordable, as she's not a big budget movie type of actress and has never commanded huge salaries, but she's also really never done television outside of a couple TV movies. Doing a big budget television show would be something completely different from her normal projects. I think she would be an amazing Moraine, but I really think she would have been the best choice for the role about 10 years ago. While I certainly would not object in the slightest if she was cast, I'm not sure she would be the absolute top choice. <laughs> Next in the list of possible choices for the role is Mallory Jansen. Mallory Jansen is a 29-year-old Australian actress best known for her roles in the ABC series Gallivant and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She absolutely has the appearance of Moraine Down, being incredibly beautiful with the dark hair and dark eyes necessary for the role, but she is quite tall again at 5'9", and I'm not sure this is really going to be a huge problem, so I do think she could pull off the appearance. In terms of acting chops, she doesn't have a ton of experience outside of a bunch of different television series. She's never Never had the starring role in a television series either, but she has had prominent roles in Gallivant and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Despite her lack of experience, she was very good in both of these shows and has a commanding presence about her. You know, the reason I wanted to get closer to you in the first place was to try to understand what you two felt for each other. You and... Gemma. If this were her first big break, I think she could actually do quite well. She is currently available as she has no projects that I could find, and I don't think she'd be all that expensive due to the lack of huge projects in her past and due to her experience with television. So what's the verdict on Mallory Jansen? I think she's certainly plausible and I wouldn't be upset at all if she was picked. <laughs> So our last actress is Ava Green. Ava Green is a 38-year-old French actress and model, best known for her roles in the James Bond movie Casino Royale, the television series Penny Dreadful, the movie Kingdom of Heaven, and lately the movie Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. She won the BAFTA Award for Best Rising Star for Casino Royale and the Best TV Actress Award from the 2016 Fangoria Chainsaw Awards for her role in Penny Dreadful. Does she get the appearance right for Moraine? Well, she has the dark hair and she is stunningly beautiful. Her eyes are are not dark brown, but that's an easy fix with contact lenses. She's 5'6", so she's really in the right range for height, and she certainly has the delicate features part for Moraine as well. In terms of her acting ability, she's a top-notch actress. She has a quiet, commanding presence, and her eyes carry a lot of weight, which is something that is a huge part of Moraine's character. She can really nail the collected eyes to eye demeanor while having the cold, calculating look that Moraine is known for. I'm the money. Every penny of it. The Treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. Vespa. I do hope you gave your parents hell for that. Thank you. Your boss must be well connected. I've never seen so much go out the door so quickly. Not quite so stylishly. May I ask you where it is? Ten million was wired to your account in Montenegro with a contingency for five more if I deem it a prudent investment. I suppose you've given some thought to the notion that if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. She is currently available as her last projects, the movies Dumbo and Proxima, are currently in post-production. She has done quite a bit of television and is known for taking only good scripts. She would be affordable and has a big name that would be required for the role. So what's the verdict on Eva Green? Well, I think she'd be an excellent choice. So what do I think is going to happen with the casting of Moraine Damadred? Will they go with one of these actresses or an unknown that we didn't mention? Well, I think since they're basing the first season around her character, as far as we know from the blurbs we've been given, I think she 
she's going to be need to be somebody at least a moderately big name actress. So while I love Mallory Jansen for the role, I don't think she can really be considered due to the lack of star power. Christina Ricci has the star power and the name, and I think she would be wonderful. But the two best options, I believe, are Rachel Weisz and Eva Green. My choice between the two of them would be Eva Green due to her age and her eyes. I think she was born to play Moraine. So that's my pick. What do you think? Who would you choose to play Moraine Damodred? Is there someone that was left off of this list that you would pick in place? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're liking my content. I'll have some more of these casting videos coming out soon. Also, take a look at my Patreon if you want to support what I'm doing here on the channel. There are some really cool rewards and you'll get some behind the scenes stuff on my process and my videos as well as some early access to my videos before anyone else gets to see them. Thanks again guys and until next time you guys all take care. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. Mistress up above, slipping on a robe of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy us a free crying. Tinker, oh dear, Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?